So, um, forgive me if I get a little emotional in this, in this video, in this message, but I feel like I'm always going to share. I'm always going to share what's, what, what the message is for the day with all you guys. I'm always going to be one to share it. I'm never going to keep the message to myself because <clears throat> I feel like a lot of us need to hear this. A lot of us, including myself. And yes, um, I'm overstressed out right now. I'm very stressed out right now. So um, I'm trying to calm down. Uh, okay. So I have a message for everybody. And I know some of you are not going to want to hear this. But I'm going to say it anyway. I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. Um, don't mind me. I'm, we're about to, I'm about to make everybody in my house... Start changing the way they eat, quit smoking, all that, including me. And yeah, I'm I'm really serious this time. Um, so lately, um, we've been having. Oh God. Okay, this is an important message, and uh, I'm gonna give it to you guys. And I don't care who's looking at me. I'm getting emotional because this is super important. So maybe you tuned in because you needed to hear it. So this is what I right away when this was happening to to for our family. I'm gonna say. Um, I instantly got this feeling like get on live and tell everybody this. It's, there's a lot of people that need to hear this right now. So uh, lately in our family, there's been a lot of people going to the hospital and getting sick. Um, so uh, I'm going to try not to cry. But it's, it's an emotional s situation. Okay. First it was my uncle. And yeah, I'm, I'm quitting smoking this week. I bought the patches. I went to the store, bought the $60 patches. I don't care. And I'm quitting smoking. And I just texted my brothers and sisters and everybody in my family. Hey, guys, I love you. I want us around for a long time. Uh, I, this is a message I'm getting. My grandmother, this is the, her birthday in heaven. And, and I feel like she wants me to express this to a lot of people here. It is. Okay. All right. So. <clears throat> this is this is an important message and I don't want nobody interrupting this message right now. So I'm going to tell you right now. We have to start making changes. This is where our guides are telling us. A lot of us have been in these toxic cycles for a long time. And I'm not just talking about cigarettes and, and drugs and, and weed and alcohol and, and all of this shit that humans think is okay to be drinking and smoking cigarettes like crazy. Me too. I know how hard it is to quit smoking. And this is a message for those of you who are living unhealthy. And we are living unhealthy because we are eating the junk. And listen, no, everybody's not going to want to hear this message. I really don't care. Okay, I'm enjoying my last cigarettes today because I'm done. I'm, I got the patches. I'm starting the, the patches tomorrow morning because I don't want to do them towards the nighttime because you get nightmares and shit. This is a message for all of you. Everybody needs to understand it's time to change the storyline. You know, we've been doing the same things over and over and over again. And our guides are kind of like, all right, man, like I understand you're here in the human world and you want to like experience human stuff and it's fun to enjoy it. But I'm going to tell you something. The reason why so many people are not listen, I'm going to say something. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. You guys are trapped in these toxic cycles and we all are right. We're watching these shows that are horrible for us and our children. They keep putting shows on that are horrible and toxic toxic for us to keep us in this time warp of shittiness and you guys are all oh my god you want to see what everybody's doing all their drama and all their bullshit and you want to know what the kardashians keeping up with them and making sure you know what their latest trend is and i need to be wearing that and i should be eating this and i should be doing that and guess what <clears throat> if we don't make fucking changes now our guys are going to seriously be like you know what i don't fucking know what to tell you they will never give up on us ever 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 but i'm gonna tell you right now some of you right now this is a message for some of you whoever is dealing with some heart problems in your family they need to start making the changes now now <laughs> i'm hearing a year they have a year to live a year a year if they don't start making the changes whoever this is you know who this is i'm hearing you know i'm especially hearing he he definitely has swelling in the feet i'm hearing his he has swelling in the feet he he gets like his yes he has swelling in the feet okay he is, um, I'm hearing, I'm here, or you may have swollen me on the feet. I'm seeing like serious arthritis here, serious arthritis. Yeah. The video keeps pausing because this is a very important message and, and spirit is like, what if this works? And you know, those, those negative entities or energies that are trapped still in the spiritual realm. I'm going to give you a message right now. And a lot of you are not going to want to hear this. A lot of your family members, <clears throat> let's clear it. Let's clear it. Let's clear it. Let's clear it. A lot of your family members here are stuck in the astral realms. And let me tell you something. A lot of times when I'm doing readings, I have to push all these negative energies away because 
A lot of times I'm trying to tap into the higher realms and I have to talk to the lower astral realms and that shit is draining because when they take me to their world, it is fucking toxic. And they're still doing the same thing that they were doing here on earth. The people that are doing the things they're doing here on earth and they leave in that state of mind, that's where your consciousness goes to. The same fucking astral realms, the lower astral realms. Listen to me when I tell you, this is the time. If you're here in this live and you're hearing this, spirit says, enough with the bullshit, it's time to make the changes. And I'm telling myself this too, not just you. This is a message for all of us. Hmm? It is time to stop neglecting the fucking life that you're meant to live and start living it. Because a lot of us are sitting here. We're like, why is nothing working out for us? Including me. I do the same shit. I don't understand. Blah, 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 blah. Why? Because you're not making the changes. And then we make these excuses. We make these excuses like, oh, but I live with this person. Oh, but this. Oh, but that. I do the same shit. I'm like, I want to eat healthy, but everybody in my house doesn't eat healthy. So then I end up eating junk food. Wait. So now because everybody else is doing it, I have to do it too. And that's what happens when you're empathic like me. And I know a lot of you are right now. And a lot of you are empathic and you'll understand this message. You, We are empathic. And so we pick up some of us pick up when somebody's hungry, we'll be hungry too. And we're not even hungry. Understand me when I say empathy, empathic people, when somebody's upset, hungry, tired, drained, can't breathe, we pick it up. Sometimes I'll sit in my room, my mom has COPD and I'll be like, why do I feel like I can't breathe? And then I'll come in the living room and she's breathing heavily and I have to like do something on her and, and put some, some healing on her. And I'm tired. I'm about tired of seeing our family members and everybody live the same toxic cycles. All of us eating unhealthy take it just go and buying the cheapest shit we could possibly get and whatever and i'm just in a rush let me go F throw away mcdonald's throw away burger king throw away wendy's stop eating that shit enough is enough i'm done i'm done i haven't eaten fast food in a long time i maybe had some chicken nuggets from wendy's like two weeks ago but i promise you i promise you i do not eat fast food the other day i don't eat fast food the other day i went to fucking taco bell right and i was like i haven't had taco bell in years let me just have a a, a taco i ate that shit do you understand I felt depressed after? I'm, I'm going to tell you, the, the what you're eating is energy, right? So it's all energy. You know, humans are said, like, we, we're, we're like based around food, 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 holidays, food. Somebody comes over, food, 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 food. Meanwhile, we, not, we don't even need to eat that much, but we've been programmed to believe that, right? These prescription drugs, the, the medications, the food, the drowning ourselves in sorrow when we don't need to. You guys, we are we are deserving of better things. And our ancestors, our family members are trying to have us change because they're looking at themselves in the astral world and they're going, you know what? Yeah, they're going, you know what? I, I, we didn't change this. We have to, somebody's got to start making changes. Somebody's got to break the cycle. I know it's a tough fucking, it's a tough a uh, uh, knife, a sword to, to, it's a tough pill to swallow, however you want to say it. It's hard because guess what? We, ha we come from a generation of like food, 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 cigarettes, drinking, smoking weed is okay. I'm going to tell you something. Not a lot of you are not going to want to hear this. I see a lot of people already. I'm losing a lot of people already. I don't care. Put those, put the weed down. If you're spending massive amounts of money on weed, can I just tell you something? That's an addiction. I, I, I don't want to hear it. You can't get addicted to weed. You can't? Okay, so stop smoking weed right now and don't smoke it. You can't. You know why? Because you're addicted to it. Okay? You don't have to go out every weekend and drink alcohol. You don't. All right, you want to have a glass of wine once in a while, but those of you who are drinking a glass of wine every night, these white bitches, I see. I'm sorry. I'm just going to put it out there. Okay? And I don't care who gets mad. You see these white bitches all the time. I need my wine. I need my wine. I need my wine. I mean... Bitch, get the fuck out of here with your drunk ass. You can't. I need my wine to deal with my family. If you need substances or wine or weed or food to deal with the, your, your family or the things that you're doing, then guess what? That means that you need to change whatever's happening because I don't want to hear this shit. I got four kids. I need to deal with them. You shouldn't have had four kids then if you can't deal with it. I have a daughter and she is tough to deal with. Let me just tell you, sometimes she gets really, really out of, like, out of pocket with her shit. You don't, I, if I went and said, if I do drugs right now, I'll feel better. Baby, I'd be a crackhead. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on, on the streets like I, vo avoiding my children. Most people that are drug addicts and, and eating unhealthy, they're all running from their family members. You understand that, right? So if we make the changes within our family, let's say today you're like, Flo, but it's hard. Nobody wants to change in my family. Let's say you have some kind of power and control over your house. I might not be the head of my household right now, but I pay bills here. So I'm turning around. I just talked to my mom on the phone. I said, everybody's changing the way they eat. I'm going to tell you right now, that kitchen's being locked up. It's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I 
I don't want to see no junkie, no cooking, no cook, no cakes, no this, no that, no fucking butter. I don't want to see none of it. Yeah, you're going to have to deal with the food. It's not going to have the most flavor in the world, but it's going to be healthy, energetic food. Not the foods that we've been shoving down our fucking holes because we're fucking hungry. You know what I'm saying? Or we're in a rush. None of us want to sit. Look, I make the juices, those, those, those ginger juices. You know what people, right? That looks like a lot of work. Does it? It looks like a lot of work. You know it's a lot of work, though? Eating the foods and letting your body have to digest that food. You, your, your stomach, literally, when you eat, like, fast food, McDonald's and and and, um, and, and this chicken shit, whatever, Chick-fil-A. Let me tell you something. Do you know that they put those things out into, in a preserve that they didn't even go bad? You know that because when fruits are not real, they sit down in your kitchen. They don't turn brown because they're GMO and they're not real. I understand. Fine. If their fruits are GMO, they're still giving you some kind of nutrition. Understand that everything is processed from now on if you're a type of person like me who's taking it as serious as i am from this moment on when i go shopping from now on i'm reading the labels what is this is if there's corn syrup run run the other run as fast as you can sugar replace sugar with date syrup replace it with fucking maple syrup don't salt just a little bit of soy sauce. And I know that's still not the greatest for you, but it's better than salt and all that. And use kosher salt or Celtic salt or Himalayan salt instead of regular salt. I get it, guys. We are bored. We want to eat. We are bored. We got nothing to do. So what is our life? It's surrounded by food. It's surrounded by, by weed, by cigarettes. I know. How come when I'm out and I go out through the day, I don't smoke any cigarettes? It's when I'm home, bored, doing nothing. Guess what? Cigarette, cigarette. <clears throat> Cigarette, th cigarette. I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. You know, as somebody who's who's clean from from drugs for a while now, for a long time, for years now, I'm gonna tell you something about life. I know what it's like to escape, and I know that I wanted to escape a lot because I was in pain because I didn't know how to heal myself. And I know you're in pain. I know you're hurting. I know you're hurting, and I know you're in pain. I understand things are not fair. That your family didn't treat you fairly. Your mom wasn't there for you. Your dad wasn't there for you. Your brothers and sisters are always fighting, and this is because everybody's against each other, and we're fighting each other. And then I see shit like bad girls club. Yo, you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm I'm so tired of it. <clears throat> I'm so tired of it. And I'm 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 telling you because I was a part of that. I look at it today and I'm like, ew, what is happening in the world? What is fucking happening? Why are we doing this to ourselves? Why the fuck are people so supportive against people? People will support somebody who's putting out toxic shit all day long. But if you see, nobody supports people who are trying to do the right thing, get their business going, trying to heal and help people. And be like, no, but you'll subscribe to a fucking show where people are killing each other. Women, beautiful women against each other, fighting each other. What are we doing? What are we doing? You know, you are literally, I'm hearing, married to the person that you hate. Listen, I'm just going to say it. A lot of people are out here in marriages. They can't even stand their partner. They don't want to kiss them. They don't want to hug them. They don't want to touch them. Your kids get on your fucking nerves. You know why? Because you're not taking time to do things for yourself. I'm there right there with you, baby. I'm so busy be trying to be a good mom that I forget that, hey, Flo, you know, you need time for yourself. You need to go be an adult and take time for yourself to do things on your own too, you know? Yes, your daughter's 11 years old. She's 11 years old. She's not a baby anymore. And you don't need to be up her ass and she don't need to be up yours. Many, many, many of us right now are seriously, yeah, misery loves company. We're seriously in a big need for change. And spirit is coming in and they're like, yo, if they're here right now and they're listening to this message, they're like, and this is, I'm hearing your father's talking to you, um, grandmothers, aunts, uncles, all of them are talking to you because they're they're in that spirit, spiritual realm. And these beings that I'm speaking with, and I'm going to say beings because they're ascended, they're telling me about um something about the drapes i don't know what that's about but um they're telling me something about the 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 car or something like just get rid of it i hear somebody's car keeps breaking down you keep putting money into it i don't know this is a message coming through Spirit wants to give you the, 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 the knowledge and the, the intuition. And they're saying, we've been talking to you. We've been telling you, just make these little changes. Make these little changes. Make these, stop doing that. Stop doing that. But you've been ignoring it on purpose. You've been like, be, I'm hearing lately. Yeah, we, we, regret, we neglect our needs and we start to resent those. Right. And let me tell you, a lot of people are in relationships and they're not happy. You know why? Not because the person that they're with, they hate them. It's just that they're not speaking their voice. Like, babe, I'm not happy doing this. I'm not happy doing that. You get comfortable. You start getting in relationships all of a sudden. And now it's stay home every night. Don't we have houses and we don't invite each other to them? Listen, do you hear me? We have houses and we don't invite each other to them. Is that crazy? 
I I'm gonna be in my house. I'm just gonna hide here and I'm gonna stay here forever. Like, well, I'm gonna hide in my blanket. Like, what are you doing? What did why did you get a house for? What? So, so what? You could stay there and just what? Like, be under the blankets and the bed all day long. None of us got each other together. None of us come. We come together. None of us fucking want to be together. Everybody wants to fight each other and hate each other. Like, are you serious? I cannot be supportive to anything like that. I have blocked. You, if you if you see my page, I blocked several people. I I block people that are, that do spells on Instagram. Sorry, they're asking me. You want to do a YouTube? But no, no. Why? Because you you're putting love spells on people, and you're putting oh, I hate that bitch spells on people. And you or you you think your spell magic is gonna? No, baby, I'm not doing it. I block people that do spells. I no longer am following anybody who has fights or anything like that. If it if it comes up in my feed and it's negative, I'm un I'm unfollowing and I'm blocking this this. I'm tired of. It. I'm tired of fucking acting like it's okay. And I'm, you know, another thing I'm tired of, like, oh, you know, it's okay. There's, you know, there's no such thing as good and bad, there, you know, and technically there isn't, but there is though, because our children, our children, do you hear these kids these days? Bra, 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 like, what? Remember when we were growing up? Listen, and everybody could say whatever they want. It's time to be loving and all that, but also, the old school way worked really good for us. A lot of us got respect and manners. We hold doors open and we don't curse at old people on the trains. Today's teenagers will fucking tell the old lady, fuck you, bitch. It's disgusting. It's, it's, this, it's sickening, okay? And if you guys don't see this by now, all this Snapchat and Roblox and all, no, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I, like, I am so sick of it. I can see the change in my daughter's behavior when she plays Roblox all day. I don't know if anybody else notices that. Somebody who's playing that game all day, your kids, you got to get them step. I know, mom. I know you want time for yourself. I get it. I understand. You don't know what to do. I don't know. Last night for like 10, 15 minutes, I played a game with her and I said, you know what? I got to start doing this more often with her. Start doing this more often with her because a lot of us, you know why we let our kids stay on their fucking iPads and iPhones? Honestly, truthfully, it's because we just need time to ourselves. We're just like, please just get away from me. I don't need this shit. And guess what? I watch people in relationships and I'm at their houses. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're on their phones all day. One's at that couch. The other one's at that couch. And this is them all day. Their eyes don't leave their fucking phones. I get it. You're bored. You, but talk to each other. Tell each other something. Play a game. Do family fun night. Everybody's just escaped into their own little rooms in the houses and hiding underneath the cubby hole. I can't. I can't see my own family. I don't want to see her face, her face. Yeah, I get it. We get annoyed. We see people every single day. It gets annoying. It gets annoying. I get it. Listen to me. This is a message, and I'm going to say this right now. If you tuned into this and you're watching this and you're here right now, this is your spirit saying, fuck, man, I've been saying this, but I haven't taken any initiative, including me. I'm going to take, I'm going to say for me too. There are changes that I need to make that I kept procrastinating on and saying I'm going to do it and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I haven't been doing it. And then like getting, and then being upset over the fact that other people who are pieces of shit are getting what they want out of life but here i am trying to do the right thing and things are are taking their time for me and let me tell you i get it i understand why we get mad over those things you guys a lot of you do deserve more than these other people because you could say oh nobody deserves more than the other but i'm gonna tell you something those of us who are working hard spiritually and i'm gonna say spiritually straight up you're working hard on your soul's progression ascension d deleting old karma you know uh breaking generational curses and all that shit you're working hard on it and it's hard to watch other people who absolutely do no work at all but here they are succeeding you know why because they got no morals they have a no heart they don't give a fuck who they step on to get they will pimp bitches out i.e you know who i'm talking about pimp bitches the fuck out lie to them and say you're so beautiful come here i'll get you take you to a hotel and somebody will pay ten thousand dollars for you listen you you guys are supporting pimps and whores that's the whole fucking the whole, everything you support is pimps and whores i'm sorry spirit i know i'm supposed to be a love and light but you also told me that you want me to use my voice this is my voice telling you that the whole world we look up to pimps and whores okay i'm sorry i'm so sorry I'm sorry, we, uh, Kim, Kim Kardashian's mom, pimp, Kim, whore. I don't care, I don't care how you place it. M men are whores too. I'm not talking about just women, okay? You, you're, you're supporting all these reality shows when all they do is fight. Mind you, they won't put a fucking positive thing on these fucking shows. They won't put a fucking positive thing on these shows. You know why, you idiots? Because they're controlling you. I'm not calling, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you idiots, but those, these fucking people, when you look at some of the comments, it's like, bitch, Nobody give a fuck about you. You're evolving. Oh, honey, honey, you're 
you're so so lost in the matrix that nothing will ever come into your brain to realize what's being done to you see when you wake up right you wake up from the dee, 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 ignorance is bliss when you wake up from that you start to see the shit that this earth is doing it is run by reptilians just so you understand i don't care i'm yeah where's my tinfoil hat it is run by the reptilian agenda agenda do you understand me this agenda has been put in place it started around 1962 it started when the jews were at the camp i just had a dream last night of us them programming us i was helping it was a big ship and all these things and i was pushing this thing on we were like helping something and we were reading something and they were programming us to like this and to like that i was being programmed in the dream they were showing me the as above so below it's not only happening on earth okay there's other planets where the same agenda is being placed on these on these people and let me tell you our starseed family our pleiadian our lyran our andromedan all of our starseed families they're up there on their spaceships and let me just tell you something don't think they're not how do you think that we stayed safe this whole time you think it's just us are you kidding me you think humans just did it? Uh, we have super support in the in the galaxies and everywhere else. And I'm going to tell you right now, our Starcy family is looking after us. And they're trying to tell us, we're not trying to tell you to, what to do. But in this lifetime, you got to make this shit. So we need people like to come up here and to keep doing the work that we do. I mean, I'm seeing them dangling their feet off a spaceship. And they're sitting there going, oh, God, are they going to make the change? Time. It's time. It's time. The message here. We don't have time. We don't have time to, to tune into the low frequency. All of you guys who want to watch toxic shows, you want to subscribe to fucking uh, networks, do it. Do it. Go ahead and do it. But I'm just going to let you know right now. Your kids are watching that. You know, don't play with me. I, I remember seven years old. Seven years old. People, girls on Instagram will be like, I was seven years old when I was watching your show. Now. Mind you, in my mind, I'm like, fuck, man, that's fucking horrible. But, you know, it, 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 that's the reality of it. Seven years old, watching that shit, thinking that's the way I want to be. I don't care. I was a good example. I didn't sleep with people around. I, I, listen, to me, I don't care what you are, how you are. Let me tell you something. Unless I was, like, seriously fucked up when I was on drugs and shit, yeah, I did my little crazy shit, right? And that's for, like, two years straight I went crazy. But let me tell you something. The real Florina, the real Florina, which is why my name is the real Florina. She doesn't sleep around. I'm not a whore. Like I'm so, and the men too. You two motherfuckers. I'm sorry. We just, we're not doing it. It's embarrassing for your life. Your children are going to see this shit. You should be ashamed of yourself. Like, and I'm just saying no shame, no guilt, none of that. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you're standing around, you're sleeping around, you're dating a hundred people, you're wondering why nothing works out for you. I'm going to tell you right now, because when I was doing the same thing, nothing worked out for me either. When I started to make the change, I am very old school. Women, I'm tired of this whole like equal opportunity. Bro, it's old school for me. Uh, for me, it's old school. I would love to have a man who makes a lot of money and goes to work. I cook, I clean, he comes home, house is nice and clean. I look nice. The kids are well dressed. They took a shower. Everything's taken care of. Don't get me wrong. I'm all, I'm working too, but it's just like I'm working less and not really caring how much money I make. And I should be focused on the family. The two of us can't be all about our career because then one of them is going to be fucking both of us are going to be stuck on our career and fuck our kids right because that's what happens you get all trapped in this i gotta make a career out of my life everybody's so busy trying to be successful they're forgetting about family they're breaking families up left and right families are destroyed every single day and i, I like i'll see people be like they're destroying black families and i'm like Honey, they're destroying all families. I'm sorry. Let's not even take the whole race thing. Let's get that out of the way because they're destroying all families. They are destroying families. The family unit has become a fucking shit show. Nobody wants to be in relationships no more. Everybody's got other options. It is a fucking disgusting thing to view every single day. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's time to start making changes. We got to start breaking these fucking generational curses because that shit is real as fuck. If you think you're not trapped in a generational cycle, go ahead and take a look at the patterns of your family members, especially women, especially the women, the men too, the men too. But if you're a woman, the women, if you're a man, look at the, the patterns of the men or vice versa or i.e. either one. OK, start breaking these patterns because this is what they do. They get us trapped in the cycle and repeat the same things over and over and over again. And then we get stuck and we get stuck and we get stuck and we and we can't leave that cycle. And one person. There you are, light worker, star seed. It's you, black sheep of the family. One person gets chosen to break those cycles, to break the curse. Is it going to be you?
Are you going to do it? Are you just going to allow it to keep going? And then your child picks up that same shit now. Because if one of us doesn't break it, our children will continue the same pattern as we do. It's time. It's the hoarding, hoarding stuff. I, I was looking at around. What do you want me to make you to eat? Just think about it. I'll make it, okay? We're, the hoarding, I was looking around. I'm like, yo, we got, I got mad shit in my room over here. I don't even know what the fuck I was doing buying all this stuff. For two years, I haven't gone nowhere. I bought outfits, never wore them. I, I bought stuff, makeup, all this, never use it. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> am I planning for the future? Like, what the fuck am I doing? What is going on? I got a thousand pairs of sneakers. I probably wear the same slippers everywhere I go. I mean, it's crazy shit. It's crazy. Like, we're hoarding shit, buying shit, constantly just buying, 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 buying. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Motherfucker, Amazon uh, is the devil. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I mean, it's great for sometimes when you need stuff, but I'm going to tell you. I'm deleting that shit from my phone, from my computer. I'm deleting my, my, my membership, all that. Man, that shit is a fucking toxic shit, man. Toxic. Go ahead and look. I want you to do what I did yesterday, which was look at all my Amazon orders. Orders. Oh my God. Definitely like $5,000 in the past two years. Or past year. It is crazy. It is crazy. Anyway, the message here is not to be mad or angry because we're not, we're not mad or angry. We're just realizing, right? The realization starts to hit us and we start to see. And if you're getting headaches for somebody, take an ice like this, freeze it overnight and put it back here. Keep it there for 15 minutes. Your headaches will go away. Also, it helps you with energy, a lot of good energy and it helps the blood flow through your body. Okay, it's very good for you. Mm -hmm. And if you're having back problems, take ice water like this. Take two or three of them and directly on your spine, directly on your spine, lay with them like this on the bed or something and like point it directly to your spine and all the inflammation in your back will go away, okay? Because inflammation from your spine leads out to other, other places in your muscle in your body. I do that treatment, ice down my spine like that and I'm gonna tell you my back for the rest of the day doesn't hurt, okay? Um, all right, yeah, I got the Korean body scrub things. I'll show you. And this is like, this right here is another thing, especially because it's winter time. A lot of us have dry skin, but skin buildup. And I'm going to tell you, you got to start, you got to start using um, these. They're actually, they're absolutely miracles. And you're going to love yourself after you use them. And I'll show you, please. And they're, you know, the, again, the, I use Amazon now to get the things that's very necessary for my body and stuff. I, I take care. I only use soaps like this, Okay. You see, like Castile soap and all that. I only use pure soaps like this. Um, and if they don't have all this extra shit in it, okay? I like shea moisture, shea butter, stuff like that. And my face, I wash with this, okay? It's pure, nothing, it's, there's no products that are bad for you in this. I only use these things. And this is the thing I use for my body. It's magic. And when your skin is wet and you, you do this, all that dead skin that's been sitting there, it's going to be gone. You're going to thank me. You're going to feel a pound lighter. I'm not even kidding. You're going to get out of the fucking, uh, out of the thing feeling a pound lighter. Now, mind you, a lot of the stuff that I did, did buy now, I'm happy because when I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not going to share what's happening, but you'll see. You'll see it for yourself. It's stuff that I'm going to use for my, for my space. You know what I'm saying? This is stuff that I could use for my space to make my, my natural healing medicines and things like this. So I love you guys. Spirit really wanted to come through with this message, especially after Christmas. The holidays are done. I'm hearing enough hoarding, enough keep buying shit, enough spending money on things you don't need. It is time to make these changes and start making them now for your highest good. It's time. Start small. I heard small, small, start small. Little by little, you don't have to go crazy and overnight, I gotta stop this and that. No, 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 you can stop, you can do things slowly. It's take your time, but start to make the changes now, okay? And if you want to, this is obviously, I'm, I'm talking to me too, I'm not just talking to you guys, okay? I love you, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later on, and we'll get on this week and start doing some readings and stuff. I just, 
uh, you know, I, there's a lot going on in my family right now with, with people getting sick and all that. So I have to do a lot of healing meditation and prayers. Uh, it works. Okay. My uncle was in the hospital and maybe they'll, they'll, they could put the, put it on themselves. I sat down and sent every angel to him to help heal him. And I kid you not two minutes later, somebody texts me, say he's going home. He's okay. So start to send healing vibrations towards your family and, and put the intention. Okay. Light a white candle, put a couple of crystals around it, write on a piece of paper. I intend to bring positive, clean energy into my home, my family, my children. Remember, you, the changes you make, your children will also make with you, okay? I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Infinity of Shun. I love you. I'll see you guys later. Take care, okay? I'm going to clean my house right now. I'm going to organize everything. I'm going to just clean the shit out of this place. Like, I'm going to go in. I, I'm going to do some organizing, some cleaning. Everything's going to be detailed and cleaned, okay? I will see you guys later, okay? It's time to start the energy fresh, okay? I love you. Love and light, guys. I will see you later. Yes, baby.